let's have a look. S we'll start off with who we don't have uh, out on the sur uh, on for this final. So very, very quickly, um, uh, unfortunately, Michael Walker, William Archer, Owen Neve, Ryan Gill, Finley Buck, um, Zach Turner, Michael Dalton, Shane Chandaria, Ironman Bansall, Harrison Whitcomb, Jack Thompson, Vlad Tomenchuk, Harry Hurst Grover, Eric Brinsmith, Callum Foster, Owen Wallace, Rory Armstrong, Naomi Garcia, Jacob Woods, Emily Cotty, Jack Baker, Oliver Meek, Isabella Stanmore Wilson, Jake Graffiti, John Richardson, Elliot Surtees, Matteo Palazzo, Omar Cindy, Sebastian Lush, and Eli Baden. They haven't made the final. We will tell you who has made the final after this commercial break. Over on the grid here ahead of our junior Rotax O plate final. Just going to quickly catch up with pole sitter Jacob Ashcroft. Jacob, how are you feeling ahead of this final? You've had a great weekend so far. Yeah, I'm feeling good after a great weekend. Hopefully, I can finish it off in the final. Yeah. And what are your expectations for this race? We know junior Rotax's races are always exciting. What are you thinking? Um, I'm just hoping I can get a good start. I mean, if it comes out to be a massive fight, I mean, I hope I can stay towards the front. And if I do go back, I just need to concentrate and get back to the front. Well, the best of luck to you, Jacob. We've just got time to catch up with Harry Bartle, who will be sitting alongside the front row with Jacob Ashcroft. Harry, just quickly, thoughts on the race, what you're expecting? and uh, Well, try and get to the lead as quick as I can. And then if it all pans out, I can try and get a gap and get away, but anything can happen. Well, very best of luck to you, Jacob. As you can see, as we work our way down the grid, incredibly competitive. So we've got Strawberry and Dan Holland on the front, more Dan Holland carts along with Sam Pollock. Just going to work our way down and see if we can catch up with Benjamin Baker. Now, Benjamin, one of the Dan Holland racing drivers, he started his weekend in qualifying in 63rd and now finds himself 21st on the grid. So see if we can catch up with him quickly. As you can see, strawberries, we've got coals in here as well, as well as some privateer drivers. Joel, privateer. Benjamin, I saw in qualifying you had a bit of a difficult start to your weekend, but you've made yourself into the final. What are you looking forward to doing? Uh, just looking forward to uh, go up the grids, hopefully get a good position and see what happens from there. Anything can happen, really. Very best of luck to you, Benjamin. Clearing the grid now, ready to start our race. Thank you very much, Nicole. Yeah, great effort there uh, from Benjamin oh, Baker to, uh, to I get I apologise. Um, oh, that's, Stu Stratton. That's oh, where we've just Stu. lost any monetisation Sorry, on the, there we the go. That's, uh, that's quartered our viewers. <laughs> uh, Henry, <laughs> let's have a quick talk. Uh, Let's actually yes. go towards the, the back end of this grid oh, first. Yes, my yes. goodness me, has there been a bit of a story of who's made it into yes. the top 34 we, and who hasn't made it? We, I ran through the list of drivers who haven't made it. Now, at the end, the very last lap of the superheat this morning, Kenzo Craigie was running up in the top five or six yep. and dropped to 16th. He's made it. We'll find out where he starts right now. Let's whip through this grid. Jacob Ashcroft starts in pole position. It's alongside on the front row, Harry Bartle. Row two, Lewis Goff and Joshua Turnbull. Row three, Thomas Minspearing and Jacob Jukes. As the number 64 car gets going, William Antrobus, Joshua Smith, Brandon Truman. Oh, they're all going off. That's the number eight, that's two. The, that's, that's the pole That's sister. the pole man. Jacob Ashcroft is off the track. He's trying to get the car back on. Oh, did he just spin on? Yes, 
he just spun warming his tires but he's okay he's back in and they've got two rolling laps uh, Andrew Smith, Truman, Hasty, Freeman and Bland for your top 12. On to row number seven then. Charlie Neve and Cameron Nelson, Albie Lapp and Charlie Cox, Joel Dixon, Cohen and Aris Miauskas starts on row nine. Hugh Moulton, Jack West, Benjamin Baker, Aidan Mitchell, Harrison Crowther, Noah Barham are next. We're going to quickly cycle through the rest of them. Ray and Gando's in. Kenzo Craigie is in on, on a tiebreaker. A four-way tiebreaker. 51 points. And that was between Craigie, Hanson, Hanson McDonald, and Michael Walker, who misses out by virtue of the fact he qualified lower than the other three drivers. And you know what? I thought they were going to have a second rolling lap. Lost by yet? They have. Yet. They have. They're going to get. Okay. I thought that we were going to go racing there. Well, I'm, I'm looking at the. Kenzo, Kenzo Craig, Craig having it on. No, I think we are green. We I, are green. I think we're green. I thought... Oh, no, there's chaos and there's confusion and another driver off. That's the number 72 of, of uh, Aris Majewskis off, off the track. So we've had two other drivers going wide. We, I've seen Aidan Mitchell off the track. Ray Gando, the Canadian driver, is off the track. Looking down... Uh, Ash, well, well, we'll get the num We'll get a check next time by uh, Harry Barton Lee from Joshua Turbo, Lewis Goff, William Antrobus, Brandon Truman. I, do I thought there was going to be a second rolling lap, but there wasn't. That's not a regulation. They obviously told once. So let's have a look. Where's Jacob Ashcroft? 18. He's, He's down to in 18th place. Well, it's an was absolute disaster for Jacob Ashcroft. Uh he has got time to race his way through, but he's got to he's got to hope there's a lot happening at the front of the order for the next ten and three quarter minutes if he's going to claim this open weight title. Hang on, did he did he start at the back of the field? I think he started at the back. If he's if he's up to 18, the that means that somewhere on the opening lap he's passed about 20, about uh, 15 cars. Yeah. Well, what an absolutely remarkable start to the Junior Rotax final. Uh, I've, I've got a feeling, Henry, this is going to be one of those races that never quite calms down. No. Bartle leads at the end of lap two. Joshua Turnbull second. Lewis Goff third. Antrobus and Truman in the top five as well. Who's made good pro Harrison Crowther's on an absolute tear through the field. Has gained 11 places in the first he's two laps. He's about to gain 12. And he's, he's just absolutely passed. flight. There is Ashcroft in the number 82. Right. Who's now up to 17th place. Uh, probably another one as well as that. Kenzo Craig, he's had a spin, but still gains three places. Three wides into Osiers, and somehow the juniors make it work. This is the 28. That's Truman. Got to think all their three wide into the boot. That could go wrong, and it's gone wrong because some oh, Aiden Mitchell uh, pulling off the side of the track there. Now, uh, I, a couple of those cars, there's somebody with a very badly damaged NASA panel there. Jacob Ashcroft punching the steering wheel but i tell you what he, he shouldn't punch it too hard because he's about to break into the top 10. is indeed it's a long way to go in and this he started one. last yeah, he started last he's up to uh he's up to as you say to 12th place he's not that far behind everywhere else it just overtakes galore chaos in some ways out there organized chaos once again from the juniors still. Nine minutes to go in this one, of course. That's Zach Green down the inside in the 53, going for a move. I think that was on Adam Wooden oh, and, for and another I, spot in uh, in the top 15 there. And Uncle Tyrone joins the live chat just as Brandon Truman uh, has a problem and falls to 28. I think it might be Leon Hasty who's got, yeah, it's Leon Hasty, the number nine, who's got the loose NASA panel for Thule Motorsport, eight and a half minutes to go. This, oh, this is a change. That's this a is panel, the, this skew is everywhere. Down the inside of Spearing, that is for seventh place. Uh, uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's NASA panels misplaced all over. The, there's NASA panels askew in abundance uh, all over the place. So let's, right. Oh, oh. there's a problem there. Oh, that was just missing the tyre barriers as well. That is the George Whitbread uh, Racing uh, cart of the number 64. Uh, was that uh, Mr. Uh, that Joel was uh, yeah, Joel Dixon Cohen. Dixon -Cohen. Oh. Um, 
could see oh. that Joel didn't make contact with that uh, that uh, yes. tyre ferret. I've been in that one. It's, it's not nice. Oh, 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 yes. So, let's a reset. Eight minutes ago, Harry Bartle leads Lewis Goff by 1.2 seconds. William Antrobus is a further two seconds back. Then, another two seconds back to Cameron Nelson and Harrison Crowther in the top five. Then it's Leon Hasty, Harry Freeman, Lucas Blanford, Joshua Smith, and Thomas Min Spearing. And Leon Hasty has just had a technical flag. Then it's Jake that will promote Jacob Ashcroft into the top 10. Pole sitter, spur of the formation up from pole, had to start at the back, and is now into what is ninth position because he's just passed the number 10 cart of Thomas Min Spearing. And he's still not losing that much time relative Brand to the leader. Seven Brandon minutes Truman, to go. Sorry, sorry, Andrew. Brandon Truman is now heading back up the order. Because can he drive a car? Of course he can. And uh, Uncle Tyrone is back in the live chat after a year away. Uh, oh, Leon Hasty has failed to recognise the uh, technical flag and has now been given a black flag for his troubles. Um, I, I mean, Jacob Ashcroft, it, I mean, he will, he can still finish in the top five. It will be of no consolation. And that is why... Uh, uh, Leon Hasty, the black flag there. Um, it, it's okay. We are. Nicole asked Jacob Ashcroft why he fell back at the start of the superheats. Mm -hmm. And what was his answer? His answer was, well, I didn't get enough heat into my tyres on the rolling lap, and therefore my car wasn't very good. So, what did his Dan Holland racing team tell him? Make sure you really get some heat into the tyres. So he goes out and he starts warming his tyres vigorously, too vigorously, and there's your results. Yep, and that's all learning. And you, uh, again, it's we've all got learning, to remember, he's stepped up to juniors, it's the different chassis, apart from the different engine, that's the change of the last few years, going from the Inter to the junior class up to the, the larger chassis. He, you're absolutely right, he will be kicking himself. Yeah, but, uh, but I mean, he, 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 that's a great thing. We've got the pit lane reporters now, so yeah. we can follow that story. Like, yeah, we know why. He was told, make sure you get some heat in your tyres, because remember the last race when you didn't, and we had that interview with Jacob. So there we are. Now, the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle all come together. You almost guarantee he'll never do that again in his entire hey, racing career. You know, we had we had one of, one of the main junior road tax contenders, Nigel Hathaway, such an experienced mechanic. And there goes, uh, uh, you know, Hath even Nigel Hathaway, 35 years in the sport you know so focused on making sure that he gets a, an exhaust welded for Harrison Whitaker he, he goes in a park for maybe the tyres on never done it before you'll never, never do, do it, it again. again right five minutes to go Harry Bartle in full control 1.79 seconds clear of Lewis Goff William Antrobus there in third Nelson and Crowder completing the top five Jacob Ashcroft is still your fastest driver out there on circuit is now back up to seventh place this is uh, is the fight for Joshua Smith coming through the field uh, on the Jackson uh, Project One Racing Group effort. Where's he up to wow. now? 10th place. Zach Green's another Sorry. driver flying through the order. It's gained 17 places in this and race. Here's another move for Harry. Ashcroft. That's him uh, going past Harry Freeman back up to 6th place. This is the remarkable thing is he's only 8 well, seconds off the race leader. Jacob Ashcroft's fastest lap of the race a 46.36. It is three tenths of a second faster than anybody, anybody. else. Uh, while you're commenting, uh, there's, a, there's a screen here which I will try. I tell you what, what was the gap in qualifying three tenths off pole? To give you some idea of Jacob Ashcroft is driving the wheels of that cart. Uh, you know, he's angry, he's frustrated, all those things. And he is doing things he probably couldn't think. So three tenths of a second in qualifying. Fifteenth in time to qualifying with that's, that kind but of that, gap. But that's how close, generally, how evenly matched these carts are. People talk about Rotax racing. Oh, it's all a bit rough and tumble. Well, it's because it's so competitive and equal. You know, generally across the board, you don't really have. I mean, we've had many lines winning by a mile, and now we've got Jacob Ash. Oh, and. Uh, a mechanical flag for Thomas Min Spearing. There we are. The Argenti cart is out. So Jacob Ashcroft, that, that's the difference between first in qualifying oh, and a Smith. spin for Joshua Smith. A difference between first in qualifying and 15th in qualifying. Yeah. That's three tenths of a second. And Ashcroft is three tenths of a second quicker than anybody else. With uh, That will put him into six. Got to say, we're not talking about Harry Bartle that much. He's leading uh, Goff and Antrobus. Great stuff. 
I'm impressed by Cameron Nelson and Harrison Crowther. There we go. There's Nelson and Crowther. Uh, how long can they hold off? Because, uh, you know, uh, let's have a little look. A 40, I don't think we're going to see a 45 second lap in this race. Smith leading Albi Lapper. And uh, that is now Kenzo Craig. He's up in the 12th. Kenzo Craig, 31st to 12th. We're talking about Ashcroft, like he's the only one doing things in this race. Uh -uh. Craigie up 20 places. It is indeed. Two and a half minutes to go then into the latter stages. Harry Bartle in what seems like full control, but uh, given what's been going on behind is anything but that is Thomas Mitzpearing oh. out of the race. So strong in time qualifying earlier on this weekend. That is not how he would have imagined his O-plate finishing. Change for fourth place. Crowther ahead of Nelson. Ashcroft continuing to charge along here. Is there a, dis a slight chance of a podium here for Jacob Ashcroft? If you can get past these two drivers here, Crowther and Nelson, and then you never know what could happen between Goff and Antrobus in the latter stages. There could still be a chance for the youngster there on the DHR machine. There is your race leader having a lovely Easter Sunday drive. Harry Bartle clear by two and a half seconds. We shouldn't be too surprised that Harrison Crowther is doing so well in these cold conditions at Wilton Mill. December 2020, I've got my book of stats out. Uh, December 2020 in Minimax, Harrison Crowther in very similar cold conditions won the final round of that year's Minimax British Championship for Coles Racing in the number 17 cart at this circuit. However, he is not going to hold off uh, Jacob Ashcroft, who is simply irresistible at the moment, and that would put Ashcroft into four. Yeah, he's made his way past, uh, or down the inside, into the no, boot. Oh, well Harrison. defended by Crowther, saw him coming, just held the outside line. Oh, oh he's very really careful. Close there as they go into the new chicane. Crowther holding on to this fourth place now. Less than a minute to go on the clock. Bartle, Goff and Andrebus looking good for the podium. This is the closest battle on circuit. Crowther checks over his shoulder, moves the driver's right. He's going to say to Jacob Ashcroft, if you want my fourth place, you're going to have to go around the outside, which is very hard to do, of course. Back down into Ashby once again. To the defensive inside for Crowther. <laughs> side by side off of Ashby between himself and Ashcroft. Nelson nearly gets caught out by that. And round the outside goes Jacob Ashcroft. That is fourth place. But he's now, he's got to be too far behind, even if well, there was like an in-race penalty or something like that. The yeah, gap is too big now. He's not going to get onto that podium. Well, uh, I mean, OK, so with 10 seconds to go, that was that battle. Uh, the, well, there's no battle. But Harry Bartle for Strawberry Racing is clear. But I want to talk a little bit about these two drivers. So, uh, Lewis Goff and William Antrobus. Sam Pollitt Racing, they've got the Exp Xpirit chassis. They have been, we talked about tier two teams trying to get the tier one team. Sam Pollitt Racing are working diligently. They're working very, very hard as Jack West retires to break into that top bracket. There's another Argenti move there from Kenzo Craigie. He started 31st, uh, no, he started 33rd, and Kenzo is now 9th. Fantastic drive, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, again, Mercedes Formula 1, they don't tend to pick, you know, if they're going to pick a driver to go on a young driver programme, they're going to pick a good one, and they have. Now, it's going to be last lap across the top increments, the final time for this man, Harry Bartle, uh, one of the, a number of drivers this paddock that started off. There's Rodney the dog on the back of his crash helmet. Good old Rodney watching back home. Um, but yeah, started off in the Daniel Ricciardo series. So many of these drivers did. And now he's raced at an international world level, European level. He's going to be a British Open champion in a couple of corners time. He is indeed. What a drive this weekend from Harry Bartle, joining the likes of Macaulay Bishop, Ethan Jeff Hall and Daniel Ginchard. Harry Bartle is your 2024 O-plate winner in Junior Rotax, a Junior Rotax race that still hasn't finished with its drama to the end. Oh. William Antrobus has taken second, third place for Lewis Goff. This is for the minor placings. It's racing like the first lap still. Over the line, they all come. Jacob Ashcroft finishes fourth, fifth for Crowther, Nelson Freeman, Craigie, Blanford and Green inside a top ten. You had three Oof. drivers in that top 10 who all moved up at least 16 places in that uh, that 
marvellous Junior Rotax uh, final if you like your drama delivered in spades. Um, Uncle Tyrone fans, Brandon Truman was running in the top five, dropped the 28th, drove back up to 14th. Can he drive? Yes, he can. Of course he course can. He can. Uh, we got. Uh, and sadly, at the bottom of the order there, the drivers who failed to finish. Uh, this will be interesting. Now, you mentioned how many drivers gained lots of places. Did they gain those places whilst keeping their nose heat? Oh, Jacob Ashcroft punches the steering wheel. Uh, no nose code penalty for Jason, uh, uh, Jacob Ashcroft. People are asking, how old is he? This is his first year as a, mini, as a Junior Max driver. Excellent glove throwing. Great to see. Good at, uh, you know. Uh, he, okay. He will... He will, he's, he's lost an O plate, all right? Yep. He's going to be absolutely devastated. He, he knows, he will, and he will always know that he could have been British Open champion this year, and he's yep. not. However, when, and this is what Dan Holland, the team will do, they will go back and think, okay, let's do the learning now. Yep. Right, he, he, he's going back and said, well, you've just passed the entire field, nearly, you know, in, in, in 12 minutes. And your best lap, he did a 46. He set the lap record. That's a lap, that's he set a lap record in this race. New lap record holder, Jacob Ashcroft there. Um, you know, incredible. In cold, damp conditions, you know, when all said and done, somebody asked you how old he was, he'd be 12 or 13, you know, maximum. Uh, there, and there's a, you know, good drive. So there's the Sam Pollock team. So uh, that is Lewis Goff, uh, who got passed on the last lap by his teammates, William Antrobus. Yeah, well done, Sam Pollock Racing. Harrison Crowther, oh, that's what you want to see. Uh, do you know what? Harrison qualified for the uh, Grand Finals in Rotax in 2021. And then had a, he's, he's had a terrible couple of years. He seems to be back now. Mm. He's a very talented little driver. Uh, Macaulay Bishop looking through the gate there just to you know, congratulate some of his former rivals. And, uh, you know... Looking down the thing, so Jack West, uh, Aidan Mitchell finishing third, it's Ryan Gandu, the Canadian driver in 29th, look at Monji 23rd, Kai Clark, well, Joe Bleakley was working on Kai's uh, cart late into the night, as you saw in the paddock show, and he comes away with 23rd place, but, uh, woof, you know, great drive, Lucas Blanford, didn't we talk about him, ah, now, that is a, is that a fawn? I think it might be, yes. It's a fawn, oh, shh. Uh, let's Quiet. have a look at some of the uh, highlights from that race the drama, which uh, started even before the race start. There is Jacob Ashcroft joining the back of the field, going, no, 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 no. I want another uh, a formation lap after his spin out of the pits. He wouldn't get it. Away they would go for 12 minutes. Good start uh, for the number 74 of Lewis Goff. Ran wide, a little bit wide through the crook. That allowed Harry Bartle to get up the inside. Harry Bartle did not look back from that entire race. He will have been... Completely oblivious to everything else that was oh. going on behind. That was a huge moment for Joel. Uh, yeah, the Joel Dixon Cohen, Cohen, yeah, the George McBread uh, racing driver. Got back in the race, but in the end would finish P27. Some storming drives yep. through the field, the likes of Harrison Crowther. That was a close uh, moment yeah, for that Smith, was, uh, Smith. A half it? spin. Uh, but as I say, Crowther up 18, Craigie up 25. Uh, Blant, uh, Green as well up 16. Actually, uh, four this, in effect. Yeah, this is, this is the end Ashcroft of Jacob Crowther. And it got a little bit tetchy between Ashcroft and Crowther. But, uh, yeah, this was the end of uh, Ashcroft's re-ascension up the ranks. And uh, it almost got very, very naughty there with the three. Because three three carts side by side, only rear tyres. Uh, that, luckily, ever goes through. Ah. It, lap record, that will come, you know. And uh, yes, uh, Stu Stratton just just looked back and remember I was saying nasty things about his back. There we go. And that's that was just the juniors. And there's plenty more uh, plenty more action to come here uh, at Wilson Mill. Three more races to enjoy. Micro Max will be up next. Honda Cadet uh, and Senior Rotax as well still to come for their uh, O Plate finals. And uh, if you enjoyed that, if you've missed any of the races so far this weekend, remember you can watch it all back, just uh, including on the ca new Karting UK uh, channel. <laughs> what's what's abusing you now? <laughs> well, we saw a fawn out there, like a baby deer. I said, I wonder what it is. A grass dog. A grass dog. <laughs> a gra anyway, enough of that. Let's go down to the Cole Sutherland in the pits.
We are over here with Harry Bartle, our provisional 2024 Junior Rotax O-Plate winner. Harry, congratulations. How was the race? Uh, pretty boring race, to be honest. Uh, got, a, got into the lead at the start and just maintained the gap until the end. Bit of a cruise round for you then. And would I be right in saying that seven Rotax wins in a row? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you would be, yeah. Congratulations, Harry. There's that one for you. you. Congratulations. Just going to hear from the other podium. So, P2. William, how was your race? Yeah, it's good. Uh, I could have probably done some more damage at the start if I wouldn't have been shoved off on like lap two. But, oh well, second, second at the end of the day. Yeah, very big congratulations. And are you feeling confident going into the rest of the British Kart Championships? 100%. If we showed that pace in the British, like how we did here, we have a big chance of getting a seeded. So, yeah, I'm really happy. Great. Thank you, William. And we're going to hear from your teammate as well, the other Sam Pollitt podium driver, Lewis Goff. Lewis, can you talk us through a little bit about the race, how you found it? Uh, it was off the start, um, to be fair, uh, Ashcroft spun on the out lap was unfortunate for him, but um, on, the, on the first corner I did a mistake straight away on that first lap, what cost me basically, because um, I think Turnbull and um, Bartle came through, then I think Bartle got that gap, and I just like struggled midway through um, the race with a bit of pace, but to be fair, I beat uh, through and it's a bunch of points this weekend. Yeah, well, big well done to you, Lewis. Thank you for your time.